Sterling has plunged to its lowest level against the US dollar since October last year on the back of global coronavirus-related uncertainty. The pound has fallen by 1.5% against the greenback so far to date today, and is at 1.2632 pounds, as traders flock to safer investments. Read more. US stocks hit circuit breakers as shares plunge on coronavirus travel ban. The sterling sell-off has come parallel to another punishing day for UK stocks with the FTSE 100 index falling by more than 9%. This was on the back of Donald Trump's decision to ban all travel between the US and Europe, except from non-Schengen zone countries like the UK and Ireland. Similar sell-offs were seen in the US as the New York Stock Exchange halted trading, after the S&P, Dow Jones and Nasdaq all fell by more than 7% within minutes of the market opening. The sharp drop in US stocks triggered circuit breakers which halt trading on the markets for 15 minutes. It is the second time this week the automatic system has been activated to curb panic selling. Bond yields have continued to decline in the US and the UK, indicating people are flocking to less risky investments. Equals Group Chief Economist Jeremy Thompson Cook said global markets are in panic mode. Read more. FTSE 100 plunges further as global stocks sent a coronavirus freefall he said, at the moment, investors are looking to financial institutions and governments to stand up and commit something to fighting this downturn. The ECB has had to call out governments to open their wallet and last night's address from the White House was met with disbelief as to its lack of a plan beyond flight bans. The time for action is now or we are going to be talking about credit crunches again. Sterling is caught in the middle a currency that has lost its haven status courtesy of Brexit while investors hold dollars as the global reserve currency. For more on this story, visit the news article link.